Welcome back to CN Counters Light Cruises. This is Harnas here. And in today's episode, we've got Wilkes Bar Class Protected Cruiser by Fire Dune. Dueling against Graf Van Grele, Grele sorry, by Awelner. So, this is a kind of a beauty contest here. Both ships look just fantastic. I think that they have already received uh, a lot of votes from uh, from the audience. But now we need to decide which one looks the best between the two. And of course, uh, before we do it, we need to settle things with uh, with big guns. And indeed, both uh, ships bring pretty uh, pretty potent armament to the table. So these are both over 250 mil, mil guns in both ships. It's 266 for uh, for Rickles Bar and 293 for for Graf. Uh, in terms of the layout, I think that both vessels they have um, similar let's call it a problem maybe not not really a problem but similar trait uh, i think that they need to open up quite a lot to be able to use all the guns so we can see that the two guns in in super position two turrets in super position on wilkes bar they are uh, backward facing so it either needs to angle like that to be able to shoot or have the opponent basically behind the stern. And uh, with uh, our wellness creation with uh, uh, Graf Van Grele, I would say the, exactly the same thing. Uh, those secondaries are, are great, are, are really looking great and uh, they are definitely functional. However, what they do is they um, decrease the, the potential firing angle from those back guns and yeah i as you can see i think it's about 30 degrees that they need to that the ship needs to turn towards the opponent to be able to actually use those back guns uh but yeah uh both uh both vessels exchanging fire for now and they are pretty much they're exactly the same they had exactly the same success uh, it's about 97% for both of them. The protected cruiser, I think it's getting a slight advantage here, really, really slight. Uh, but for now, I think the only really significant damage is that, that bad barrel in the midship turret being uh, chopped off. There are some torpedo systems on uh, the protected cruiser. However, these also need, um, I think, quite an open angle to be actually used. So let's see if they can be some factor in the battle. But for now, uh, ships are exchanging fire, secondaries. The protected cruiser doesn't have really a lot of secondary caliber guns, but but I think that they make up in caliber. Graf has uh, more guns, more secondaries. However, these are very very small ones and relatively fragile. So uh, just one one just have popped. Just a second ago, and all right. Uh, so we've now got uh, a bit closer um, brawl, and yeah, it is quite close. However, it looks like uh, Graf is able to get a slight edge, just two percent points. 
this might be due to the the better armament, better protection. I just wonder if any of those shots are going to translate into a, a, a citadel hit. The protected cruiser now is in a good position, it's angling away and still uh, able to bring all his guns into bar. However, still it's uh, Graf who is getting the better of this artillery duel. The middle guns, they, they need to angle really, really high. They need to elevate really high because of that lost barrels. However, the remaining main guns are still fully operational and shooting away. Uh, another secondary has just went into C. Uh, let's do some quick inspection. Okay, yeah, we can see that uh, definitely the protected cruiser is. It's landing some shots near the citadel, but similarly, it got some dents uh, from from shells being shot by Graf. So let's see how this plays out. And I think that we've got a significant damage to the front turret, but still, majority of uh, of main turrets are still operational. So. It's not a huge loss of firepower. Kraft was able to uh, to widen the distance between the two ships. Now it's uh, it's got almost nine percent of the HP difference. This can be significant. Uh, however, the mobility is still there for the protected cruiser, so it it can definitely still be able to maneuver and bring his guns into bear. Uh, he might be a little bit too open right now uh, for a citadel hit, but let's see how it goes. Uh, we can see that Graf is definitely trying to, to hit it. Okay, uh, looks like Kraft is started to list to the right. This can be dangerous because it could potentially mean that he will not be able to elevate his guns enough to be able to shoot. Uh, for now, it does not seem to be a problem, I think. Yeah, the front guns have no issue right now. And the back ones as well. So maybe not a, not a huge problem at the moment. Ninth minute of the match is approaching. It looks like especially the tech has been quite dented. Not sure why this is the case. Uh, maybe uh, maybe actually fire dune used uh, the slopes for for covering the deck just to save some material potentially. Because it really looks like it was stripped away. 
it still still sits relatively um, relatively high in the water. Of course, it's it's now getting a bit lower, but it looks like uh, it looks like it's it doesn't have really uh, too much of the buoyancy issues. And yeah, Krav is closing in. So does it have a ram? No, I don't think that Graf has a ram. The protected cruiser does have it, but it doesn't try to ram. Okay, uh, do we have a popped? No, it's not a pop turret. I think it just turned away because it was out of the firing angle for a moment because of the listing. Okay, we're going to see some close-up action. <laughs> yeah, just an attempt to touch, detonate the, the Citadel. Deliver a kill shot. Okay, both craft are dangerous, dangerously close to the Citadel. I think you just cannot miss it from that range. So it's pretty much up to the armor to hold. Uh, yeah, I for the moment I thought that maybe we will get some use of the RAM, but doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, both vessels are listing quite heavily to left and right side, uh, and I think this is actually preventing. Oh well, front turret doesn't exist pretty much so we only have the back turrets and they are not at the right angle protected cruiser again changing the the movement direction from reversing to uh, all forward and yeah it's trying to snipe with the middle turret Still, Graf is getting the, the better of the exchange, leading with uh, percentage points. One and a half minute remaining. It looks like it this might go to the distance. However, I think that both both ships still possess need the, need the firepower to actually sit the Dell. Uh, looks like the protected cruiser is at slight disadvantage because due to the, the due to the list it's not able to uh, to uh, to depress the guns far enough to be able to shoot and I think that the front turret it might actually be disabled looks like there is some broken APS snake uh and also graph has ceased fire i think this is also due to listing it's it's mantle doesn't pretty much have enough elevation to be able to bring the the guns to bear so sun is setting and i think that's all we are going to see from those crafts in about five seconds, we, uh, the, the timer is going to be to be stopped. Final volleys, and yeah, here we go. So this one went to the distance. However, Graf is a clear winner. Uh, there's like a 15 points um, lead by awareness creation. So congratulations, Awareness. And uh, also Faridun, it was able to, to really chip away a lot from a wellness uh, creation. Uh, so thank you very much and see you in the next episode.